Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us on KTV Prime to News. Now it's time for the discussion. So the long-awaited Hustler Fund was finally launched by the head of state, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, as was promised during the campaign periods and uh, reiteration during the inauguration. This has since created a smile on the face of the Kenyans at the bottom of the economic pyramid dubbed the Hustlers. The fund will see minimum borrowers get 500 shillings, while the largest amount advanced will be five, uh, 50,000 shillings at an interest rate of 8% per annum. Tonight we hold a special discourse to cross-examine the fund to its core, focusing on the sustainability and the ripple effects to the economy, which is largely driven by the small and the medium-sized enterprises. Joining me for this discussion is Amolo Killian, who is a lecturer, researcher, and consultant. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Amolo Killian, for dedicating your time for this discussion. You're welcome. All right, so let us get the ball rolling. The Hustler Fund was just launched yesterday by the president where he promised uh, that he would do so before uh, December. And indeed, we saw he kept his word when he launched this fund on the 30th of November, that is before in, uh, December. So it was revealed that Kenyans borrowed um, up to 408 million shillings from the Hustler Fund in less than 24 hours. So generally, um, looking at this figure that was borrowed, what does this tell us? Uh, on the reception of Kenyans uh, concerning this Hustlers Fund? Yeah, it simply means that Kenyans are very upbeat mm -hmm. about the fund. They are very excited about the fund mm -hmm. and they want to try as early as possible mm -hmm. because there is uh, a perception that sooner or later mm -hmm. the fund might begin to diminish. Eh? Mm -hmm. So people are trying as much as they can to benefit from the fund as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, within 24 hours, if uh, we see that 408 million shillings uh, was already, uh, Kenya had already borrowed that money from uh, this hustle of fund, KT. So, this kind of enthusiasm that we saw Kenyans, you know, the rush that they had to try out this fund. So could it be really bad that, um, you know, they were eagerly waiting for this fund to be rolled out? Or some of, some Kenyans are just doing it out of curiosity to try out probably and probably um, using this platform to uh, increase their loan limit on the Aslo fund. Yeah, there is a group of people who are genuinely needy mm -hmm. and waiting to take advantage of this fund mm -hmm. so as to venture into various businesses that they could not do before. Mm -hmm. There is uh, That group is there and it, it is a significant uh, proportion of the, of the people applying. Mm -hmm. However, those people who are curious and just doing it for the sake of it are also there. Mm -hmm. uh, they have tried from other apps and you cannot rule them out in this as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are those categories of people. Mm -hmm. The genuine people who are applying and those who are trying, maybe for the sake of finding out whether it is working, mm -hmm. and those who are also trying to, to uh, for the sake of, uh, you know, we have just come from a, 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 a political campaign that ended about two months ago. Right. And uh, many people thought that this thing is a hoax. Right. Some people are also trying to find out whether it is working or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, now that uh, we have seen a lot of people signing up uh, for this uh, Hustler Fund, uh, like generally you said, the people who are genuinely who are waiting for this fund to be rolled out. So they're borrowing, of course, probably to try to boost their businesses. But during the launch, we saw um, when they were doing the test run of uh, this uh, uh, project, we saw uh, when the uh, super uh, cabinet secretary, that is uh, uh, Musale Mudavani, when he tried out his uh, limit was at 2,400. Um, the deputy president regarding Ashagwa's limit was 1,600. But most Kenyans, a uh, group of people that uh, probably have talked to concerning the Hustler Fund, um, their limit was at 500 shillings. So... Is this a significant amount? If probably for those who are eagerly waiting for this amount, uh, for this hustler fund to be rolled out, is this amount so significant that it could even make an impact to a small and medium-sized enterprise? And now that is where the problem is. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let's start from that Mamamboga who is selling skuma wiki by the roadside, mm -hmm. and maybe this lady needs like 400 shillings mm -hmm. to go and pay for a stock, a day stock. Huh? Uh, in that perspective, it can be very significant to this person. Absolutely. Yeah, if this person is very needy and was waiting for some, 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 something small to go and expand a business mm -hmm. or even to, uh, to, to go and start all, all over, in that case, it is very significant. Mm -hmm. But if you are talking about the other 
category of people mm -hmm. uh, who are in, in a level whereby 500 is, is, is just insignificant mm -hmm. to, be so, to be sincere because most of the people who are applying are already even overburdened by Fuliza. So imagine 500 shillings going to a line that is already having a Fuliza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you are, you are already going to pay for something that you did not even use in the first place. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the loans are, are having a very high rate of default because the person who borrowed did not use that money for the project that it was intended for. Mm -hmm. So I am borrowing and this amount is not going for that project. Where will I get the money to repay? Mm -hmm. So that is likely to be a challenge, especially considering the fact that most people are between 500 and 800. Actually, the people I've talked to are between 500 and 800. Mm -hmm. That is their limit. All right. Yeah. And uh, one question that has really been uh, in the minds of most Kenyans who question a lot, and you know, uh, this curiosity, of course, also helps. Um, when this 50 billion kitty was rolled out by the government yesterday, we understand that um, it was not borrowed, it's not anywhere in the treasury. You know, it's not coming from the treasury. It was just um, a promise that was made and uh, it's good that uh, when President was making this promise, he didn't say that uh, it will be somewhere fixed in the treasury. Now, it's not something that is coming from the treasury. So, most Kenyans are curious to know where is the source of this 50 billion shillings kitty and where is the catch you know when it comes to because absolutely there's no free money anywhere so where was this cash coming from and uh, from and where is the catch you know when people who are borrowing this money they're probably they don't really understand exactly where it's coming from uh, i think this fund is coming from the treasury mm -hmm. uh, because the government cannot uh, every every programs and activities of the government are budgeted for mm -hmm. yeah so this amount is coming from the treasury it's even uh, run by the by by, by the by the the the, 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 the minister of state in, in 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 charge of cooperatives mm -hmm. yeah so because the government uh, ministries and and agencies are all involved it is a fully backed uh, up government uh, a government project mm -hmm. yeah yeah the government is fully uh, in charge all right yeah, yeah. all right so um the, the another question that kenyans are really asking themselves is um the time frame that is uh, allocated for returning this money because um looking at the political side of it the evolution you know how this fund because during the campaign periods uh, the president said that uh, he was going to give a grant to the hustlers and now where it was being rolled out is role is being rolled out as a loan you know hustlers fund it's it's a form of a loan and uh, which uh, kenyans are supposed to be returning if you get money from the hustlers fund you're supposed to return it uh, within 14 days so how consequential is this period that has been allocated for returning this fund and now, I would, I would answer that by saying that uh, when you look at the way the fund operates, mm -hmm. the moment you repay your loan, you are eligible for a, 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 another higher limit mm -hmm. almost immediately. Right. And this will give the motivation to, to work as, as, as much as possible to ensure that the loan is repaid in good time. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to advise, uh, advise Kenyans who are uh, uh, aspiring to go for this loan, mm -hmm. whenever you are sourcing for a, uh, for a financing uh, source, mm -hmm. if, the, if, if, if the source is uh, short term, like in this case something that is required within four, 14 days, mm -hmm. and ensure that the investment that you are also putting these funds is also short term, right. not something that is going long term, mm -hmm. because within the short term period you will have gotten the returns to help you repay the loan plus the principal amount. Mm -hmm. So that is the most important factor that everyone considering this fund should should go for mm -hmm. a short term investment. Mm -hmm. Something that can give you those returns within the 14 day period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, um, looking at uh, the Hustler Fund that was just rolled out yesterday, you know, it's not, uh, um, it's not something new. We are not... Uh, the government is not reinventing the wheel. It's just the wheel and uh, has been modified in a way to probably uh, suit, um, you know, the vessel that we are traveling in. So looking at the Hustler Fund, coming into a market where the predecessors of the Hustler Fund, of course, uh, these mobile loan apps with like Tala, Lisa and uh, Branch and everything. So the predecessors have not done so well which so most kenyans millions and millions of kenyans being listed on the crb what is the likelihood of uh, this hustler fund being sustainable 
in a market where the predecessors have not done so well? Uh, number one, when you look at the terms and the conditions of the Hustler Fund, you would find that it's it's a bit uh, it's it's a bit cheaper mm -hmm. as compared to the other loans that have been there before. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, number two, uh, I would want to say that many people uh, defaulted in the other apps because of the way and the manner in which uh, uh, these people were, were, were approaching the people whose payments were either becoming due mm -hmm. or were already past due. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially the the aspect of shaming people mm -hmm. you know when 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 someone that you owe money has already shamed you mm -hmm. you will you will begin saying that came a woman already <laughs> right. so why should i go ahead and do what and uh, pay mm -hmm. uh, the second thing that i want to talk about is the will to pay here mm -hmm. this is what will uh, enhance the sustainability of the project right the will in terms of the political will mm -hmm. and the will in terms of the, the the will of the person borrowing the money mm -hmm. and i want to justify that by quoting one of the uh, the, the five c's of credit right uh, one of the c's of credit is referred to as character mm -hmm. character gauges the, the likelihood of the person borrowing to repay that amount mm -hmm. and most people of questionable character they end up not committing themselves to repay mm -hmm. so when you are uh, uh, when we have for example the political class telling people that please take this amount and don't repay mm -hmm. it means that they are really denting your character Absolutely. and making you not to repay mm -hmm. but remember the moment you you don't repay uh, this fund will collapse right and the opportunities that would have been there for you in the future will not be there for a, a higher what a higher limit right. so me what I, would, I want to say is that the sustainability depends on the will of the people who are benefiting now mm -hmm. if these people can commit to repay and ensure that the default rate is reduced mm -hmm. then this fund is going to be sustainable interesting now um i i i happen to interact with uh, young people and uh, of course most of them are in in, in colleges and uh, most of them are fresh graduates and uh, you know young men out there who are unemployed so this caught them with a lot of joy when uh, the Hustler Fund was rolled out and it's something that, uh, you know, just uh, some clicks away and then you have your money with you. Borrowing from what you say, the five C's, the character, and um, looking at the history, the debt history, you know, in Kenya, um, they say that, um, I mean, just borrow money from your friend, at a Kenya, like Kenya also has a, has a debt, so... Mm -hmm. Um, I'll pay you our money, but Kenya also has a debt, so, I mean, you can just give me some leeway. I mean, be, be, be good to me. Kenya also has a loan sure. and everything. So, mm -hmm. um, on this note, you know, this raises a lot of questions on the character of Kenyans when it comes to uh, borrowing money. Will really will will we really see the goodwill of Kenyans when it comes to the character of uh, borrowing this money? And of course, um, I don't know whether Kenya we have a culture of investment where um, the the large number of youths who are unemployed and the hustlers who are in the bottom of the pyramid uh, probably have not employed themselves are not entrepreneurial probably so meaning that um, the money that they've borrowed they might not have somewhere to invest it in so raising question on the sustainability of this fund with the character that Kenya has and the history that Kenya has when it comes to uh, borrowing money um, will this be tenable for a very long time that um, this hustler fund will be sustainable uh, from the goodwill of Kenyans themselves maybe I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning a situation in which uh, the government is giving an opportunity of giving people 500 mm -hmm. and uh, you know these people who will not pay for the 500 they will obviously not come back sure so but we also have the the, the, the SMEs and the MSMEs mm -hmm. and and other corporates that will also be participating in the process yes and I'm sure they are ki the kind of behavior that they will exhi exhibit is not the same as individual behavior mm -hmm. so i'm seeing a situation in which going forward if the behavior of borrowing and not repaying persists mm -hmm. among the, the, the uh, among the individual uh, borrowers mm -hmm. then going forward the fund will begin operating only for corporates and even for groups mm -hmm. because when you're in a group setting there is going to be a lot of accountability yes. when you go as a group. Mm -hmm. And the people will actually tell each other, of, have you paid, have you paid? Because you don't want anybody 
to let the group down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe going forward, that is what is going to happen All right. after the individual borrowers maybe will have uh, shown their true characters. All right. And yeah. uh, the good thing is probably they'll be blacklisted. So, Correct. Uh, Correct. They won't yeah. have a room for coming back to yeah. probably get mm -hmm. some funds. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, let us look at the ripple effects of the Hustler Fund, uh, um, which is entitled to groups, uh, SMEs, and the MSMEs. What do you foresee as... Uh, uh, the ripple effects that uh, this hustler fund will have in our economy, being that um, it's uh, coming with uh, uh, terms that are friendly to the SMEs and the MSMEs. So, what are the ripple effects uh, to the economy that we are yet to, that we are likely to experience? Uh, I'm seeing at uh, it. I'm looking at it in several perspectives. Mm -hmm. One is that it will stimulate the demand for loanable funds mm -hmm. because the cost of borrowing is going significantly going down. And with the demand for loanable funds increasing, mm -hmm. it means that the amount of investments taking place in the economy will increase. Mm -hmm. As the amount of investments increase, it means that more job opportunities are going to be created in the economy. Mm -hmm. And so most people who are currently hustling and without jobs, mm -hmm. we will have a place to go and get their uh, employment. Mm -hmm. And as this happens, the level of income will increase. And it will also have an effect on the purchasing power. Mm -hmm. Many people, many households will begin to fend for themselves. Mm -hmm. And as this happens, remember those people who had invested, there will be an ability to buy and consume these goods mm -hmm. because the level of income is increasing. And as a result of that, uh, the, 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 even, even the... Even the equilibrium level of GDP will increase right. by the multiplier effect. Mm -hmm. Because when you are increasing the level of investments, you are also increasing the level of income for the economy. All right. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Now, um, during uh, since the president started launching uh, these projects in the money markets and um, uh, in the finance sector generally, we have seen... Um, like what we have seen uh, yesterday, launching of this Hustlers Fund, what effects do you think it will have on the other private sectors? Because, um, you know, if the government is coming with a body which has friendly terms for uh, the SMEs and the MM SMEs, which previously relied heavily on other sectors, that Correct. is uh, the sector that are ran, uh, privately run. Correct. So what impacts do you think this will have on the private sectors? Because uh, we, we look at how the police in itself was even streamed Lined by the current government. So do you think, um, in a way, it will have an imbalance, it will create an imbalance uh, in uh, how the government is running stuff and how the uh, private sector is also running? It might not create an imbalance. Mm -hmm. You know, when the business environment becomes very competitive, mm -hmm. then uh, those who are left behind will have no option but to re-strategize. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm seeing a situation in which uh, the other private businesses, mm -hmm. including even the mainstream uh, financial institutions, mm -hmm. will have to repackage the various uh, credit services that they offer to the public mm -hmm. to make even uh, the public to be more, uh, to make these product, products to be more accessible to the public. Mm -hmm. Because the moment a uh, Fuliza comes in, the moment the Hustlers Fund comes in, it means we have so many products that are competing against the mainstream banking uh, banking products. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm seeing a situation in which uh, uh, even the mainstream banking institutions mm -hmm. will have to uh, to make uh, their loans to be more uh, more, more, more accessible. Right. Yeah. So as to ensure that they, they especially those who are mark banking for the mass market. Mm -hmm. You know, the hustler fund is a product of the mass market. Oh, yeah. And so, if these people are taking, we don't want to name these institutions. We know them right. that are, are targeting the mass market. Mm -hmm. So, if the hustler fund comes in and is directly taking the people who were previously going to them. Mm -hmm. It means that they also have to repackage their products mm -hmm. and make them more attractive to the same people who are going for the Hustlers Fund right. to ensure that some of them eventually come back. All right. Yeah, and, and this will benefit the entire economy. All right. Uh, this, I mean, uh, so do you think, um, rather, I don't know how to put this, but um, if the president launched this fund, uh, exactly before December as he was pledging during the campaigns and uh, during his inauguration. So in a way he has kept his word. And now let us borrow from the term, the slogan of uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government, that is the bottom-up economic model. Uh, from how you say that uh, these, uh, you know, the private sector and other financial markets will have to re-strategize to meet uh, what the government is doing. Um, so 
is there a likelihood really that um, a possibility that really this government the Kenya Kwanza government is going to live up uh, to its slogan of the bottom up where the people at the bottom of the economic pyramid will eventually get to rise to probably the top of the pyramid yeah, I, I see that likelihood, mm -hmm. uh, just like we've seen the model in which the fund is going to operate. Yes. You begin from a small amount, and then when you faithfully repay this, you move to the next level mm -hmm. and eligible for a, for a higher limit. And, and this means that uh, the, the, the motivation uh, to be, uh, uh, the motivation not to default mm -hmm. is likely going to be high. And this means that people will, 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 will empower themselves financially mm -hmm. by moving from one level to another. As people empower themselves, there is a likelihood of their businesses. People who are genuinely in business, mm -hmm. there is a likelihood of their business going to grow. Right. And uh, with that growth will come a higher, a, a higher revenue mm -hmm. or a higher profits. Mm -hmm. And with that, the government is going to benefit even by collecting more taxes right. yeah, as these businesses grow. Right. So if this model can work, if people can really be committed in the process, mm -hmm. it is going to benefit so many people, including the government. All right. Yeah. That's interesting. And uh, probably mm -hmm. as we wind up, uh, what final advice would you be having to Kenyans concerning this Hustlers Fund in terms of its uh, taking it up and uh, its usage? I would advise Kenyans, number one, to go for this product mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, next time, you know, there are people who are even still skeptical about it even right now. Right. Uh, it's, they, they, they are, especially this issue of you sharing your, your, your pain. pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there is a lot of uh, on the grapevine. Mm -hmm. Even about uh, when you fail to repay, they already have your pin. Mm -hmm. They will just go to your uh, M-Pesa and deduct that money and so on and so forth. Yeah. I just want to dispel those rumors and tell people to come forward and take this fund mm -hmm. and be committed in repaying the same so that they can empower themselves and test this government to see whether this thing is working or not. Right. I would rather... It, it comes out that it was a hoax on the side of the government, mm -hmm. but not the people refusing to go for it. Right. Yeah. And then after they have gone for it, remember the investment is going to be short term. Right. Don't think long term until at such a time that whatever you are doing is now able to sustain something long term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kilian Amolo, for your great insights on the Hustlers Fund. Of course, Kenyans have ears. Uh, they've listened to this, and uh, it's important, really, that uh, they try, you know. Uh, we are having a government that is mandated uh, to try and lift the bottom, the bottom to get to the up of uh, the economic uh, pyramid. So here it is, the House has found that Kenyans are really waiting for. We'd rather try it and see it if it was a hoax on the side of government and not Kenyans and not failing to take it up with that. Take a very short break. We shall be coming back with more. Stay with us.